Hello my beloved scholars, welcome back to the channel Kemet Masai Academy. We are going to look today at sets, the sets of numbers, focusing on whole numbers and natural numbers. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, let me urge you right now to do so. Just take a second and press that subscribe icon so that you can benefit from all of the videos that we have on the channel. We have math videos from grade 4 to grade 11. We also have motivational videos for students of all ages. So you can definitely benefit from these videos. When you subscribe, you make the videos more accessible to students. The more subscribers, the more the videos will turn up in searches and this is what we want. We want every student to have access to these videos because I try my very best to break down the concept as simple as I can so everybody can understand and get on board and cover the bases. So we're looking at whole numbers and natural numbers. And let's look at some definitions, right? So the set of whole numbers start at zero and continue to infinity. Of course, by now, we all know that infinity means goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on, and on never ending. So this particular set, the set of whole numbers, it has a beginning. But there is no end to it. So it's an infinite set. It does begin at a particular point. The first whole number is zero. So it has a beginning, but it has no end in sight because whole numbers keep going up by one, so we can just keep adding one. Any whole number you choose, you can add another one and keep expanding. Whole numbers are infinite. So they start at zero and then one, two, three, four. So these three dots, the ellipses tell us that the set is infinite, it continues forever. The set of natural numbers start at 1 and continue to infinity as well. So ellipses indicate infinite continuation. It does have a beginning. So the set of natural numbers begin at 1 but they have no end, you can just keep adding one more. So natural numbers are also called counting numbers or cardinal numbers. They tell you how many items are there. Let's count them. Whenever we're counting, we start at one. So when you're counting all your items, you're getting the cardinality of the set. And you're saying the number of elements in the set. So for example, the number of elements in set A is equal to 5, for example. This tells us that there are 5 elements, 5 members in set A. We are able to count them. If there are no elements in set A, so set A is an empty set or a null set, it still does have a cardinality of 0. That's a special case where we make a little exception we still say it has a cardinality of zero. So that's for the empty set or the null set. For the infinite sets, of course, we cannot count the elements since the elements have no end to them. Right? So there's no cardinality for the infinite sets, such as the set of whole numbers and the set of natural numbers. Now you may notice you may notice that the natural numbers are whole numbers except for zero. Do you notice that? Yes, so that's the only difference between the set of natural or counting numbers and the set of whole numbers. Zero makes the difference. So zero is a whole number, but it is not a natural number. All the other whole numbers are also natural or counting numbers. So our task today is 
we are going to list the elements of these sets. Of course, we're focusing on the set of whole numbers and the set of natural numbers. So we're going to look at the definition, how defined the sets are, and we're going to stick to that definition and list the elements. So set A contains whole numbers that are less than 6. So since we know that whole numbers start at 0, and this set, this particular set, wants us to list the whole numbers less than 6. Of course, we're going to start with 0. So we put our curly brackets because we're about to list the elements in the set. We start at 0 and we're going to go should we include the number 6? What do you think? Should we include the 6? No, because less than. We want those that are less than 6. 6 is not less than 6. 6 is equal to 6. So we want the whole numbers that are less than 6. So it's only 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we're going to close this set. We are not going to put the ellipses, right? If it was just the general set of whole numbers, we'll put the ellipses because the general set of whole numbers continue on and on and on. But since this set is so well defined, they actually tell us they only want a certain set of whole numbers, just the ones that are less than six. So we don't put the ellipses. This set is sealed, it's closed. This is a finite set because it is so well defined. It has, it's now finite. So from zero to five, that's the set of whole numbers less than six. Set B, whole numbers between, between 33 and 39. Are we going to include the 33 and the 39? No, because we just want the ones that fall between the two of them. Unless it had said inclusive, then that would be a special condition and we would include the two end numbers. This doesn't say inclusive, it just says list the ones that fall between. So we know then that the first element would be 34, then 35, 36, 37, and 38. These are the whole numbers that fall between 33 and 39. Set C, whole numbers greater than 10, and less than 12. These conditions are very specific. So even though we're dealing with whole numbers, which generally speaking are infinite, we have some conditions that make these sets finite because they specifically want only those whole numbers that are bigger than 10, but less than 12. Are we going to include the 10 and the 12? No, we are not. 10 is not bigger than 10. 10 is equal to 10. 12 is not less than 12. 12 is equal to 12. It didn't say, it didn't say greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. It just said greater than. So what are the whole numbers that are greater than 10 but still don't reach 12, less than 12? Only one number falls in that set, and that is number 11. This set is so well defined, there is only one single element, one member. You're talking about a very well defined set. Only one number, one whole number, only one whole number is greater than 10 and less than 12, and that is number 
11. Set D, we want the whole numbers not exceeding 8. What does it mean, not exceeding? To exceed means to go beyond, to, to be more than. So we want those whole numbers that are not more than 8. So should we include the 8? Yes, this time we have to include the 8. 8 is not more than 8. 8 is 8. 8 is equal to 8. So it, 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 it um, falls within this range. 8 does not ex exceed itself. So we're going to list the whole numbers then from 0 to 8. These are the whole numbers that do not pass 8. They do not exceed 8. We have to include the 8 because 8 is equal to itself, it doesn't exceed itself. Alright, so set E, the natural numbers, the natural numbers between, between 25 and 30. So we know we are not going to include the 25 or the 30, just the ones between. And it's the natural numbers, the counting numbers. So that would be then 26, 27, 28, and 29. Okay? Set F, natural numbers greater than 500. The counting numbers, the natural numbers greater than 500. So we can't include the 500. Because 500 is equal to 500, it's not greater than 500. So we have to start with 501, and it's counting numbers, so we keep counting. But guess what? This set continues to infinity. There are an infinite number of numbers that are greater than 500. So we are going to put our ellipse. We can't list that, that group. We would be here forever and forever and forever. So we have to put our ellipses to say, guess what? Here are some of the elements, but we can't list all of them. The set is too massive. It's infinite. We are just going to list some and let you know that the set continues. Set G, natural numbers that are prime numbers. So we want those counting numbers that are also prime. And remember, for a number to be prime, it has to have two factors. It has to have two numbers that can go exactly into it without leaving a remainder. And obviously, those two numbers are the number itself and the number one. One is a factor of every number. And every number is a factor of itself. So prime numbers can go into themselves and one can go into them. So since it's the natural numbers, they start at one. What is one prime? Well, one can go into itself, but that's only one factor. It has only one factor. So it technically does not qualify as a prime number. What is a special number? It's unique, you know, it's very special. It doesn't qualify as prime because it does not have two factors. So then, two is the first prime number. Two is the first prime number. Two is a factor of itself and one is a factor of two. So two has two factors. Three is prime. 5 is prime, 7 is prime, 11, but the set of prime numbers goes on and on and on. So we have to put our ellipses to say, guess what? We, are, we know the prime numbers, we know them, at least we know the first batch and we could work out the others step by step, but we are not able to list all of them. So we're going to put our three dots, our ellipses, to indicate that this set, the set of prime numbers, 
that are natural numbers continues forever. H says the set of natural numbers that are factors of 12. So we only want those natural numbers that can go exactly into 12. Remember, a factor is a number that can divide exactly into another number without leaving a remainder. So we only want those natural numbers that can go exactly into 12. So since 1 is a factor of every number, whenever we're asked to list all the factors of a number, we start with 1. So 1 can go into 12, 2 can go into 12, 3 can go into 12, 4 can go into 12, 6 can go into 12, and 12, of course, can go into itself. So these are the natural numbers that are factors of 12. There are six of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 are all factors of 12. They can all divide equally into 12 without leaving a remainder. Number 9. They want... The set of natural numbers that, remember, when it's listed like this, we'll read from the middle. So if we're reading from the middle to the left, we say x is greater than 18. Even though we know this is a less than sign, but because we're reading from the middle, we're, we're saying x is, x is less than 18. Sorry, greater than 18, but less than 24. So we want those natural numbers, x is an element of the set of natural numbers, greater than 18, less than 24. So this is well defined. So we start with 19, we can't start with 18, 18 isn't greater than 18, it's equal to 18. So we start with 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, we're not going to include the 24 because it says less than 24. So these are the natural numbers that are greater than 18 and less than 24. Finally, x is an element of the set of whole numbers and x is less than 5. So for that set then, what are the whole numbers that are less than 5? So that's 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those are the whole numbers that are less than 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? So there we have it. The set of whole numbers, the set of natural or counting or cardinal numbers. Again, let me urge you to subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Please encourage your classmates, siblings, friends, neighbors also to subscribe. We want to spread these videos all over so students have access to them. We want everyone to master their mathematics. My scholars, I'm encouraging you also to comment. Just drop a word to say, thank you, miss if you have been helped and also let me know if you want me to do any videos on particular topics. I will see you in the next video.